Hey, Don back again. Look at that. I remembered I had a music stand, but it leans, and no matter which way I put it in there, it wouldn't hold it at the right angle for this. And I and I can't set it. You know, I have to set it off to the side so far that it didn't want much good anyway. So I think I'm yeah, I've got it back on normal again. So. Uh, if I upload this to YouTube, then YouTube does kind of help with shaky cam a little bit, so. Um, and that thing's kind of shaky on its own. I think it'll just keep on shaking. So anyway, uh, Fedora is now successfully installed and ready for you to use. Go ahead and reboot your system. Reboot to start using it. Okay. Now, one time I popped out the CD ahead before I... <laughs> Before I, well, I knew I had to wait for it to start rebooting. I tried to pop it out while it was rebooting, and I popped it out too early, so don't want to do that. Now, the other thing is, this little message will come up, and you can hit quit. This little blue button says quit. You can hit it, and it'll quit it. But the thing is, if that blue line isn't all the way over, you know, if there's any beige left in there, it ain't really through. I did that a couple of times, at least once. Um, I, back, I think it was Fedora 20 or something like that, or maybe 19, when they started with this, changed up the installer, uh, the way it works, and I had the other one all figured out ever since Fedora 5 to Fedora, oh, 17, 18, it was pretty much the same, few little, few little improvements in here, but this one has turned out to be really hard to figure out, because it doesn't always do what it says it's going to do, and it's not as intuitive to me, so... And they, like in the previous video where I was trying to set up my, I had learned how to set it up the way I wanted it in the, you know, set up my partitions. And it's not as, it's all different now. I might be intuitive if you got used to it, maybe. But it, it's not right off the bat. It's not compared to the other way, anyway. Let's put it that way. So, uh, I'm going to hit quit. Let it do its thing. And uh, I always say CD instead of DVD because when I started, that's what it was. All everything was you burned everything to CD. The machines didn't even boot to USB back then. Hardly very few of them, just the newest ones. So it's rebooting, and of course it'll boot to the DVD if I don't get it out. But in this case, well, this machine might not do that. We'll see. I know I don't want to mess it up. Uh, well, it, it shouldn't hurt your install. Actually, I can't remember what happened. I just remember it gave me a headache. I mean, once you once it's to that point where it's done, you're not going to break the installation. Maybe I thought I did, and then something else was wrong. I think that was what the point. Yeah, that's what it was. I was doing Fedora 21 server, and I was trying to install a GUI desktop, and it just wasn't working. I finally found out you got to... You gotta just go ahead and install the server, and no matter, no matter how many times they let you click on stuff, making you think you're gonna install Made and XFCE, it doesn't actually install everything so that you get a GUI. You have to go back, get it running, get in the command line, and, and run some commands, and install some more stuff. And so that's a different story. So uh, it's just sitting there. I guess you gotta reboot. So yeah, it's okay. Went back to the desktop. Unless it's just taking a while. No. Yeah, so you don't want to take it out yet. You want to, you know. I heard the the, the DVD cl uh, make a little noise when I did that, so I know it's still working off of it. It's not trying to shut down. It's not blinking a lot. It would be blinking a lot over here. Your indicator lights on your machine would blink a lot. And it's trying to sh shut down. But, uh. See if I can get centered again. Okay, I'm gonna hit the uh, little shutdown button. Okay, that's the whole thing. Okay, now there we go. I want to. I think I'll just shut it down, and then I can. No. I want to restart and hurry up and get my. See, we'll leave it over here until we get. There we go. I'm gonna do my what I usually always do. I hit the button to get that DVD out of there. 
it should restart normal like normal and I should get grub. There's that. Pop that up there. And I might lose my I have a DV I have VGA and DVI inputs on this monitor and I have one of my machines the one I use all the time on the DVI input. And uh Let's see. There is a light on. It's just not. Can't my hands in the way? I can't tell where. I'm running. Now see, there's a. It's still powered up. But it's not doing anything right now. So I don't think it should take that long to reboot. Is the thing. I'm not losing my video though. Now <laughs> this is what I did last time. I just said I wasn't going to do it. They used to, uh, oh, there it comes. They used to uh, say, okay, this is the point to take out your DVD or CD or whatever and come take it out before you continue. But I don't, from what I remember, it doesn't do that anymore. So, uh, another thing that's not so intuitive. Uh, I'm pretty, I'm almost positive I've left them in there and they just boot back to the CD. And a lot, most distros used to stop if you left it in there and say, uh, take your little message on the screen saying, take out your media now, you know, and then hit enter. <coughs> it doesn't do that. <coughs> but it's, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> here, drink. But it's booting up. <sighs> First boot's always slower than their sub subsequent boots. Oh, I kind of have to hold on to this thing in the center of it so that I can keep keep it a little more still. The center of the uh, tablet, <coughs> but uh, I'm trying to hold it hold it with both hands now and see Let's see if I can be a little more still. But it's uh, started user manager for you ID 100. I believe it says yeah. So I don't think it's hung up. If it gets to something about Plymouth, Plymouth, whichever way you're supposed to say it, and hangs there, then you got a broken GUI. Now I wish I could set my thing on my music stand and leave it there. Because I'm already getting the shaky hands from holding it so long. Oh, now I'm moving like crazy. That's, I decided to try it. I don't see how I can now. No, we can't. I've tried this over and over. I had to put some stuff on my music stand. If you touch the wrong place, it makes it do things. I kept accidentally getting it into like taking a picture mode. 